Today I'm gonna to give you seven ideas for autumn landscape photography. So let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Toma, Photo Tom here on YouTube and this channel is all about landscape photography. So if you're interested in this topic, make sure to subscribe for more videos. Also, my ebook is finally ready. You find a link for it in the description of this video. If you want to support me, just go there and buy the ebook. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to the topic from today, and that is seven ideas for how to do better landscape photos during autumn. And idea number one is to find water streams into the forest. Why um, I'm giving you this idea? Because um, the water stream, if you compensate for the reflection, I mean, uh, the water is going to reflect the colors around it, okay? It's going to have those uh, also greenish tint, uh, yellow, orange, something like that, which doesn't separate the water from the rest of the forest. But you can go and um, desaturate, almost desaturate the water. And usually you're doing this by introducing a little bit of blue in the shadows and then you go and desaturate the blues. But you make sure you clip the mask of the, of the blues only to the area of the water. So when you're doing this, um, you're going to end up with a much more darker water. And that water will be a separation, will create that separation you need in the colors of, um, of the forest. Now, there's another important item that you need to take care of, and that is having a really interesting foreground element. Now, if you're in the water, you're wearing rubber boots, you're in the water, and you find uh, interesting rocks or a rock or something that has beautiful autumn leaves on it. There will always be, always be, will be uh, rocks that it's, are going to have those leaves on them because leaves are falling down from uh, from the trees and they end up on those uh, rocks and when you have that that rock that it's wet and you can polarize it and remove the glare and you have those beautifully colored leaves on that rock now you're having a really beautiful uh, and powerful entry point in the photo and you get a really nice feeling of the dark water and the, the beautiful colored forest Another small tip is to also place yourself in an area of darkness and have those, um, those uh, lights or that light in the background. Find, find the clearance in the forest and photograph it from an area of darkness. And then you're having all, all these elements, dark water, interesting foreground element, rock with, tree, with, with some leaves on them on it. You're sitting in darkness and you're going towards the light and now you have a recipe for an interesting image. The second idea that I have for you is to find trees that are different and separate them from the rest of the forest. You will always find those kind of trees. There are trees that uh, there are either green trees that and the rest of the forest is colored in the in the um, colors of autumn or you have trees that went yellow and the rest of the forest is uh, more towards green and this usually happens with the trees that are outside the forest the trees inside the forest tend to get the colors of autumn um, later on and sometimes they don't even get the, the 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 true colors of autumn it's just one or two days and then they go straight to dark brown because they're inside the forest and the forest has its own ecosystem and uh, its own humidity light and so on there are different conditions inside the forest so look at the edge of the forest and there is where you're going to find those trees that are different from the rest of the forest now if you manage to uh, have the luck of photographing those trees in foggy days you will have uh, a separation that will look really really well now you can go with yellow trees or red trees it doesn't matter the point is to find an interesting looking tree in the colors of autumn and to separate it from the rest of the forest idea number three 
autumn also means Halloween and uh, you can capture that creepy spooky feeling by photographing dark foggy forests and I'm emphasizing these dark foggy forests because the forest is my favorite subject. Uh, I mean, when I'm when I finish recording this video, I'll go into the forest because there's fog in the forest. So I'll, I'll go photograph, take some photos in the forest. But that atmosphere of dark, gloomy, spooky forest, that that thing you get only in um, in dark, foggy days during autumn. You get foggy days during spring, but in spring there's a feeling of I don't know nature coming back to life but in autumn there's a uh, there's there's some some darkness attached to those days it's you get the feeling of that low light the light is not that bright there are clouds in the sky there is a, some fog in the forest the trees are are, are spookier there some trees already lost their leaves and some trees are starting to get the colors of autumn and some trees already have the colors of, of autumn so there's an interesting combination that is happening and as a photographer you you have to take advantage of all of all this so pay attention and whenever you see a foggy forest go for it idea number four three close-ups now the trees are looking really beautiful now i mean there is no other season when the trees would look better than autumn now what you can do is to use the dark branches of the trees to have an interesting image and you have those 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 branches are like veins or like i don't know, I don't know or you know, an interesting pattern if you want and through those uh, branches you see the colorful and beautiful uh, leaves now these three close-ups can also be like in this photo for example where you have uh, an autumn colored tree behind a pine tree and now you have like a glow around the pine tree so you can play with um, with this idea of finding interesting interesting shapes inside the trees and photograph only those uh, those those intimate or taking all those intimate shots so just just pay attention to the details it's not always about the big picture sometimes it's about the small details in the trees idea number five is related to fog again but also the sunlight there are moments when there's fog in the forest and it's starting to dissipate and if uh, if that happens usually it happens during a sunny day because the sun warms up uh, the atmosphere and the fog simply goes away um, but what you need to pay attention is the, the the position of the sun and when the fog is starting to dissipate you can get rays in the forest because fog it's like let's say let's like smoke and when you want to photograph smoke and you want to see the smoke it's got to be you the smoke and the source light so you're photographing into the light it's the same thing in the forest so you're staying in the forest you see the sun and you're photographing into the sun because in that direction you're going to see uh, sun rays and light rays through the fog and but remember only when the fog starts to dissipate and um, those are some of the most beautiful images that i've shot inside the forest those are dreamy images i like i don't know there you can think of fairy tales you think about all sorts of uh, all, all sorts of magical things in the forest idea number six is to be um, at least half an hour earlier early before sunrise in autumn and also in, during spring it's um, the chances of having a red sky increases because of the position of the of the sun and how it how it raises so just be there 30 minutes before sunrise put your camera on the tripod and make sure you are paying attention to the sky to the clouds above you because those reds look so good and there are moments when those 
those red clouds are going to look better than the sunrise, the actual sunrise. So pay attention uh, to those. And idea number seven is to uh, find reflections, find lakes, and uh, when the, the water surface is calm, you'll have the chance to photograph those beautiful reflections, those beautiful colors reflected in the water. Even if you have some ripples, it's okay. It still looks good. You can, you, good. You can also do a long exposure and calm the water and have another feel to the image. But reflections always create almost like almost like an abstract image or an abstract representation of what you see uh, in the forest. So there you have it. If you have something to add, use the comment section below. Don't forget about my ebook. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you for your support. And until next time, keep on photographing because it's the only way to get better. Bye-bye.